Hello all, my name is Krishnak and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, in my previous video, I had actually spoken about how a non-technical or non-programmer person, if he really wants to get into the analytics industry within three months, the plan that he should actually follow is first of all becoming a data analyst and then becoming a data scientist. Because for becoming a data scientist, obviously you need to be very good at programming languages. You really need to know different, different machine learning algorithms, deep learning algorithms, which usually becomes difficult for a non-programmer or non-technical person because they also need to spend a lot of time in programming. So many people in that specific video, you know, they told that Krish, why don't you make a video wherein you are actually explaining all about all the skills that are required for a data analyst in 2021 and also from where they can actually study completely for free so here i've created this github link guys uh, i'll just go through what are the skills that are required and i'll tell you from which all playlist you can actually learn this and again remember if you're going through this particular plan i think within three months you will definitely be able to make a career transition you will be in that specific stage wherein once you get into once you become a data analyst in the upcoming two to three months you can still make a transition to data science because from there you just need to learn machine learning deep learning and nlp and if you have all the content in place definitely you'll be able to cover that part too so let's go ahead and let's try to understand which are the skills required for a data analyst in 2021 so first thing is basic excel okay so here in the basic excel you really you should definitely know how to work with Excel guys. Okay. So Excel has, Excel is also a powerful tool. You can do a lot of things. You can do most of the data analyst from Excel sheets itself. And this is definitely required as a data analyst because sometimes you really need to quickly send some of the basic reports to the stakeholders so that they will be able to make the decision quickly. Right? So over here, I've given this particular link. If I go and see the basic Excel, this is the link that is there, guys. In iNeuron, all the basic Excel sheet uh, videos are actually uploaded. And here you can find out nine videos. Apart from that, the next playlist that you have is called as Advanced Excel. And in Advanced Excel, more advanced things compared to this particular Excel will also be available. See, all this playlist link will be given. And already in the iNeuron uh, YouTube channel, we have uploaded all these particular videos. Now, this nine plus seven, you know, somewhere around 16 videos. If you complete this much, guys, definitely you'll be having a good understanding, which will be more than sufficient towards your roadmap towards data analyst itself. So Excel will definitely help you a lot. You know, I myself usually, you know, search a lot about Excel and all because nowadays most of the data information, if I want to do some exploration, I Excel can actually give you a good head start for that. And I have also learned Excel. I'm still learning it, you know, more advanced thing I'm trying to learn because it will be very, very much handy. So these were the first two playlists with respect to Excel. One is of basic Excel and one is of advanced Excel. So I have actually divided this into two parts and all the videos are completely available in the iNeuron channel completely for free. So just go and follow this link that this GitHub link will also be given in the description of this particular video. Now, the next thing is that this is the first skill sets. Definitely, you need to be good at Excel somewhat better. This 16 videos, you'll be more than sufficient. And I think if you try to cover the 16 videos in two to three days, you'll definitely be able to cover it. Or max to max, if you want to practice more and more, one week time, more than sufficient, okay? Now coming to the SQL part, because second one is basically, you really need to have the knowledge of SQL databases, okay? It may be MySQL, SQL Server, anything, okay? So here also I've given two links. One is of definitely Khan Academy. So Khan Academy, they provide some amazing content. You can definitely go through this entire SQL and there are challenges. You'll be able to learn different, different things and all. And there is also one more play playlist that is being created from iNeuron YouTube channel itself. And here we have also uploaded the SQL and databases, everything. All the videos will be available in this particular playlist also. And again, the link is given. Now with the help of these two, one is of Khan Academy, this entire playlist, and one from the playlist that is present in the iNeuron, because here in this SQL Server, they, they basically use Microsoft SQL Server, right? So here also you'll be able to understand all the things very much clearly. Uh, it is explained completely in detail because this was some of the community courses we had actually launched earlier. So definitely SQL database is important, okay? Now the question may rise that, do we require no SQL also? See guys, your plan is to quickly move within three months. 
if you can also add a non sql no sql database like mongodb i also have a playlist in my youtube channel regarding mongodb you can also learn from that okay so definitely sql and no sql databases but focus more on sql databases because they may ask you different kind of queries and with respect to interview question on sql i have already been uploading videos in my youtube playlist okay so definitely the second skill set that you require is sql so sql also two playlists i have actually added over here then comes a programming language programming language is definitely important right now you may be considering whether we should select python or r it is up to you but still i would suggest go with python programming language guys because probably your final goal will be becoming a data scientist and when if you really want to become a data scientist i think python is the best programming language why because there are so many libraries in deep learning you know working with tensorflow pytorch python will definitely be required so i'd suggest please go ahead with python programming language because you can perform a lot of things eda you know implement a lot of statistical formulas in, within this different different kind of analysis like t test z test which is basically required for a data analyst everything you'll be able to do with python programming language with much ease okay again that is my suggestion i don't have anything against r i'm 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 actually making this entire video so that your final goal is actually to become a data scientist so definitely you should definitely go with python programming language now for python programming language what i have actually done is that i have created entire videos and here you can follow my entire playlist for python right here you will be having so many videos and this is just not python for data analyst guys even if you are planning to become a data scientist this python playlist will be more than sufficient so i have implemented this many videos if you go and see guys there are on 52 videos over here which is more than enough you know probably this took me around 1 to 2 months of time to entirely create this particular playlist so this 52 videos if you go ahead and see everything it has you can see the count over here and you can see the title python list boolean variables basic data structures like sets dictionaries tuples numpy uh, pandas pandas reading csv file json file matplotlib everything is basically present over here you just have to learn it i have also added oops tutorial classes variables exceptional handling custom exceptional handling inheritance magic methods everything is basically added i suggest that if you take this 52 videos and along with practice i think within within 20 days you should be able to practice this entire thing because the materials is given in the description over there in the github link you can just easily follow so next skill set see how many skill sets have been over one is excel then advanced excel then sql right then comes the python programming language so three three skill set which is pretty much important and all the playlist is there now once you are very good at python what i would suggest go with stat lectures okay stats let me do one thing let me edit this and probably let me put this above above python okay let me just see so i'll just make this as 8 okay and this as 9 right i'll do that so that you will be able to see it okay now after you complete python so here you can see after you complete python what i am going to do i am going to put this two playlist over here i am not considering python uh, python eda and all guys just understand that i'll tell you why just give me a second okay this will be very very much amazing because all the things are available here itself okay okay yeah so here you can see it i'll just commit the changes perfect okay now here you can see that after python programming languages you have to really learn statistics as a data analyst guys you really need to be good at statistics statistics is must why just understand as a data analyst you really need to work with data you are analyzing the data creating different different charts different different reports and when you are trying to apply any mathematical formula along with data obviously statistics needs to come right so definitely two playlist one is stat lectures i have given my playlist over here if i go and click this specific link you will be able to see my playlist over here right over here i have created somewhere on 31 videos this 31 videos will be more than sufficient because some of the videos are like 1 1 hour i have explained everything beautifully over here okay and suppose and this will also help you to target data science work i am also saying you in that particular way long term plan 
like here 31 videos are there you know if you try to do this i've seen my subscribers completing it within four to five days all the videos okay all the videos and again why i'm making this because our target is to become data analyst in three months okay if you feel this is not sufficient then again you have khan academy statistics and probability okay everything you have over here also you can go ahead and have a look this will definitely be helpful but understand over here you'll just be finding theoretical knowledge practical knowledge is also required and that also i have made sure that will help you out with that i have created playlist for that also so suppose you complete stats lectures which is your fourth skill now you go and see python eda feature engineering this too is basically required python eda basically means exploratory data analysis python feature engineering if you want to handle missing values if you want to see imbalanced data set if you want to see category feature continuous feature so for this also i have created two playlists this is my eda exploratory data analysis and here you have somewhere on 13 videos this also has some automated libraries this also has video completely in detail if you want to do an eda how should you do it go ahead with it so i have created this specific playlist this 13 videos if you're pretty much good with python guys i think it will just take a couple of days two to three days to complete it okay so this again i'm considering this as a part of python skill also now when you are doing this eda obviously you require statistics knowledge so before that only you really need to complete the stats thing okay so eda is pretty much important i'm telling you again guys you have to spend time with respect to eda here are all the detailed videos i've created about it now after eda what you have to do is that go ahead with the feature engineering playlist how to handle category features how to perform feature scaling this that all the things are there and here somewhere around 15 videos this 15 videos are more than i would suggest 20 hour session because here you'll be able to see one hour 32 minutes to one hour 22 minutes one hour 51 minutes this all were live sessions that i had taken in my youtube channel so this will definitely be helpful all the feature engineering techniques i have actually added over here this will be definitely helpful for you all guys. okay so explore see how we have covered first of all we've learned python programming language then we learned stats you know after completing stats we went with eda and feature engineering and eda and feature engineering we will be using that stats with the help of practical examples okay like creating a box plot eda creating a histogram creating a pdf function sorry probability density function right creating different bar charts creating a pie chart that all thing will come in the eda part itself see see just follow this particular structure guys trust me i promise you that within three months you will be able to do it okay now let's go to the next one coming to the next one again this is a business intelligence tool now in the business intelligence tool what i would suggest is that go with power bi and tableau because this power bi and tableau has amazing amazing requirements guys okay here what you have done is that you have including data analyst work along with business intelligence developer work nowadays as a data analyst you really need to know both of them so power bi and tableau community courses are already there in iNeuron. see entire community course is uploaded it is completely for free use it guys see all these topics has been discussed projects has been done within that particular uh, community sessions okay then tableau is also there similarly this all community session we had actually launched quite long back it's all that you have to just follow follow it that's it and here internally when they were when um, when the instructor was taking the live session this was also a live session they have more than one one hour classes have gone just to explain you the projects right so have a look on to this entire thing so understand how many skills excel sql Okay, no SQL database, SQL and no SQL I can consider as one skill. Python programming language, stats, Power BI and Tableau. Six skills required for data analyst at least to get into it. Your work will be very much easier. Power BI or Tableau can be selected. You can select either Power BI or Tableau. But it is good to have both the knowledge because requirement may be that you should know either Power BI or Tableau. That may also come. It may depend on company to company. Some may be using Tableau, some may be using Power BI. So just follow this, guys. Everything will be done. Now, still, if you are facing more and more problems, there is also an affordable course from Business Analytics where you can actually learn this in an affordable price that is 3520. The course will be for four to five months. 
here compulsory internship is also given and in the internships you are made to develop at least four to five projects right a very good use case this take the instance only when you are not able to you know just understand or you require some more help then only go with this otherwise all the free sources will be more than sufficient okay and here also i have actually i'll i'll add this business analytics course link from ineuron again it is affordable guys 3520 for 5 months okay just understand here all the course projects are here you can see different different course projects will be available over here okay along with that all the recordings will be available for lifetime and along with that you will be having a dedicated team who will help you out with your queries also you'll also be getting an internship which will be pretty much amazing and from that internship you'll also be getting a experience letter for so for the people who are having gap this experience letter may count very much useful to get into the analytics industry very easily because many people will be saying krish people are asking experience take the experience from internship no what is the problem now we have brought this model for to take care of that itself internship 4 to 5 months internship right get the experience letter and start applying it this was it guys i hope you have understood this you require at least this skill set to get into data analyst i'll not say say suggest 6 i'll suggest 5 Power BI or Tableau, but remaining all you actually require to get into the data analyst. And after this, if you're because see your goal is basically to become a data scientist later on. Suppose here most of the things you are covering, you are covering statistics, you are covering Python programming language, you are covering EDI and feature engineering. Then what is left? Only machine learning algorithms, deep learning algorithms, NLP, right? And then develop some end-to-end -end projects with deployment. That's it, right? in the upcoming 3 months because you will be working over here so much because that will actually strengthen your idea about ed and all and it will look very much easy for you as you go ahead right and in the later stages once you reach there in the upcoming 3 to 4 months you will definitely become a data scientist trust me in that and again you will be having internship you have internship certificate you can also take from this particular course itself right so i hope you like this particular video please do subscribe the channel if you are not already subscribed and guys just follow this within 3 months i think before 3 months you'll be able to cover it because all the content are in order right so i'll see you in the next video have a great day thank you one all bye bye